All right, Harry, it must be nice to play for the Socceroos and not have to travel to the other side of the world. Uh, tell us about your, how did you get here? What was your commute like? Yeah, so it was um, a little bit shorter than, than I'm used to, certainly. Um, no, just after the after our game yesterday, um, I got you know, a car down to car down to London and met up with the squad. Um, and kind of all you guys and the staff and that. So, yeah, a lot shorter. Um, feel a little bit fresher than I did in um, the last camp, but um, now it's your guys' turn to, to have the jet lag. So, yeah, no, just really excited. Um, you know, it's great to see all the guys again. Um, you know, there's always that special feeling coming into camp and that energy that we all bring. So, yeah, just, just really happy to be here. Wembley Stadium's just behind us. What are your experiences uh, of watching football, playing football there over the years? Yeah, so, listen, it's an iconic venue. Um, only really been there before on, on a tour with my, my granny, I think, when I was really younger. Um, but obviously, you know, watching all the TVs, the FA Cup finals, the playoff games, um, live on TV. But it's going to be a real, real special night for all of us, yeah. You get the sense of occasion amongst the, 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 the boys that we've had a lot of big fixtures over the last 12 months. And um, perhaps 12 months ago, you, you might have been intimidated. But now, having experienced that over the last 12 months, how do you approach it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's another game of football. Um, you know, obviously, it's, it's, as good as obviously England are, and obviously the iconic venue it is. But ultimately, it's, it's a game of football. Um, like you said, with the experiences we've had with the World Cup, you know, playing massive teams all over the world, really, um, and, and some of the venues that we've been at. Um, yeah, it's, it's one that we go into of excitement, knowing that we can we can play on the on, on the biggest stage um, against the best players, um, and it's one that we've got you know full belief in ourselves. Um, but what we can do as a group. Um, and yeah, hopefully it'll be a good night for us. Have uh, many of the boys spoken about the Australia and England rivalry, not just in football, but in, but in all sports and what it means? I certainly get a lot um, back at Clubland. <laughs> um, obviously, with the, with the Women's World Cup, with the semi-final, it was, it, it, obviously it was massive back home, but it was massive here as well. Um, and yeah, obviously with, the, with the certain other sports, but um, yeah, probably one of us that will we'll be talking about that the, the next few days in camp when we're together, yeah. You've got a, a couple of players that uh, at your club, have played uh, with England as well. Obviously, Jamie Vardy um, had played for England for quite some time, and uh, James Madison, obviously, last season you played with him at Leicester. Uh, uh, tell us a bit about James Madison firstly, and uh, what, what you expect from him. Yeah, no, he's an excellent player. Obviously, he's got he's got the move for for the reason. Um, obviously, playing with playing with Vines now at Spurs, and obviously they're, they're top of the league, I think. Now, so they're um, yeah, absolutely flying, and he, he's doing fantastically well. Um, but again, it's it's, it's, a, it's a team full of great players. Um, you know, they're. They've done really well, um, but yeah, for us it's it's obviously great to get to be playing a, a team of that caliber. But you know, we believe fully in, in what we can do as a, as a team and uh, as individuals as well. Any banter with Jamie Vardy before uh, heading off for this camp? No, 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 not not, not really, not really. Um, obviously, I don't think he's been in the setup the last few years. But obviously, what he's done for for the club certainly, yeah, he's he's a legend. And just tell us a little bit about your club. Um, obviously, come back into the team and, and play. Uh, on the weekend, uh, tell us about that and, and, and how you feel. Yeah, I was absolutely buzzing um, to be back in. Obviously, I played a cup game kind of a couple of weeks ago, but that was my first first league start of the season. Um, yeah, just absolutely over the moon to be honest with you, mate. Um, didn't really know too much about it, and then got told the team when I was in, and I was just yeah, just so delighted to be out there with the boys again. Um, obviously, we've you know we've made a really good start to the season and. Um, Another win on the weekend there, which which puts us in a really good position going into into this break, um, and yeah, hopefully we can, can continue that for the season. This one for me, Harry, the profile, the experience profile of the squad is a little bit younger. There's a few boys coming in to train on. Um, what do you think they're going to get out of this experience? And obviously, being around the group, some for the first time. Yeah, I think I think a lot. I think obviously on the pitch and off the pitch as well. Um, obviously the. We all look forward to the next World Cup in that massive, huge cycle, um, and we know that you know four, three and a half, four years is such a long time. So there's going to be new faces at that World Cup. Um, so I think it's really important to to bring them in and, and to be around the squad, be around experienced players like you know Jacko and Matty, um, and yeah, just to, to learn the culture of the team. I think which is massively important, which is which is so strong, um, and yeah, on the pitch as well, just to see see how the older lads kind of train um, and what they do and, and the preparation that goes on because you know it's certainly one for me that I've learned a lot off, off Matty Ryan and how he kind of looks after his body and what the you know the prehab stuff that he does before the gym and yeah he's probably the hardest worker out of us all um, and yeah just to just to be around the lads in, in different situations and scenarios um, yeah it's going to be a great experience for them. And this game is the last of a pretty high profile runner game starting with Argentina, um, Mexico, um, what do you think the boys will get out of this run of games mm -hmm. before World Cup qualifiers and, and the Asian Cup in January? 
Yeah, just just I think playing playing really top teams at, at, at top stadiums and um, and having that you know a big crowd watching. Um, you know, I think we've done it obviously at the World Cup, but obviously coming off the World Cup, it was nice to to play the the high caliber teams. You know, obviously Ecuador at home as well, which is another big one that we've done. Um, and yeah, just each game as it as it goes by, it's just another one that the lads can can tick off and say, yeah, we we we've played there, we've played a, a great team, we've done really well. We've had positives from it, but there's things that we can do better and that we can learn from. Just, uh, just remind me of one more. Um, Arnie spoke in the English press about um, the last time uh, he was involved as an assistant coach beating England. Has, has he bragged to you about that? Is he learned? Uh, is he wanting to bring some of those learnings to, to the current sport? He's, he's not yet. Um, obviously, I don't think all the boys are in camp just yet, but I'm 99.9% I'm .9 certain that it will be getting brought up before the game on Friday. Um, so, yeah, we'll look forward to that.